Many people expect sobriety to be a straight line journey. They think that they're going to go from point A to point B in a matter of days or weeks. But unfortunately, in most cases, it doesn't work like that. And it's important to be prepared and to be ready for whatever obstacles your new alcohol-free life might throw your way in the early stages. And the reality is that it tends to be more of a squiggly line journey with an upwards momentum. Some people find that they take a few steps forward, followed by a few steps back. And that might be that they have a slip up or a setback along the way. And that enables them to learn what they need to change in order to stop it from ever happening again. And then as they go forward, they become stronger. It's important to have that open minded approach to know that very few people are able to stop drinking at the very first attempt and never look back. Spontaneous sobriety is rare. It's far more realistic to expect that squiggly upwards curve and to know that there probably will be some obstacles and they could come in the form of disrupted sleep which can cause us to feel irritable and snappy and think that alcohol is the only solution and for some people it can be too much and they need to take the time to find out how to get to a place of peaceful sleep as quickly as possible that might be through taking supplements like melatonin for example and other people find that their mood doesn't stabilize as quickly as they'd hoped and they feel emotionally fragile for several days or even weeks after they stop drinking. And again, alcohol can call us. We can think that it's the only way to end those uncomfortable feelings. This is all part of that squiggly line journey that I share. And it's important to know that we can overcome these things. And sometimes we have to go through the uncomfortable experience to come out the other side and make that serious progress towards living alcohol free. So don't beat yourself up if you're finding that you're having setbacks on this journey. The important thing is each each setback represents an opportunity for you to change something. Each time that you have a slip up and you drink after you've decided to quit, ask yourself what you can change so that it never happens again. Over time, you end up polishing that rough diamond that is you. You become a smooth, shiny diamond that glistens in the sunlight because you've taken those steps. You've learned from every single setback and you've put things in place so they can't happen again. If you find a particular location, situation or some kind of behavior or even a person is causing you to become triggered and want to drink alcohol, then you know definitely after a setback that it's time to put some kind of boundary in place or time to make a change so that it never happens again. But don't just accept a setback or a slip up and then do nothing about it or you're sure to have another one. Instead, take a look at it once the dust has settled and ask yourself with a sense of curiosity what you can change so that it never happens again. If you do that every time there's a setback, then before long you'll find that nothing is going to catch you off guard and you are absolutely set for success in your own sobriety. I hope that helps. It's just a short video, but it's something that a lot of people miss and they beat themselves up and call themselves a failure because they can't get it the first, second or third time. Whereas in fact, more of a growth-based mindset will allow us to have a level of flexibility and know that setbacks are almost inevitable in the early stages so long as we're using them as stepping stones to personal growth. Don't forget there's new videos on my channel every Tuesday and every Thursday. I'd love you to be part of my YouTube community so hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be notified every time there's a new one.